Hello, thank you for joining me. We are working on a whole lot, a lot of food. I am working on my husband's uh, lunch that he's going to be taking Monday. I'm just warming up some English muffins with some butter. Um, just toasting them a little bit. And now I'm going to put on the eggs. Um, these are going to have eggs, ham, and cheese. They're going to be very simple. I am doing everything I had to split in two days. So this is this day is day one. I had to split it because it's 4th of July weekend. And we were just really, really busy. So I'm basically just prepping some of the stuff. I will be freezing these. The breakfast sandwiches so I'm just here I am gonna assemble them and I like to dry I like to pat everything dry including the ham um, I was and then I cut the ham in half because I just I just do <laughs> what can I say and then the cheeses I cut them in four just so they fit in the thing a little bit better in the bun and then I just put two in each one so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be prepping for the 4th of July. We're getting together with my sister-in-law. I'm going to show you guys that, what I had to take. I'm prepping for my husband. I'm making food for that day. It's just, this is, uh, this is day one of prep. And then Sunday I will finish it off. Now what I like to do is I like to put it in a, in a paper towel and then I freeze them. And my husband takes them on Mondays. He leaves Mondays, comes back Fridays. And then I'm making lunch for my kids for this day. And I just... Um, I got this recipe from a friend you just cut up any type of cheese it doesn't matter just cut them thin so they don't ooze out when you put them in the oil and then you just wrap them up with ham probably you can probably even wrap them up with like cooked bacon and then you put them you put the tortilla in the microwave so it's pliable then you wrap it up and then you put a toothpick in it that way when you go and put it in the oil like it doesn't fall apart and that's it my kids love them so so good so now I am putting some chicken in the Instant Pot and it's going to be cooking for 25 minutes. Um, this is going to be for a chicken salad I'm making and I put a little bit of nor in there, nor suiza. Because, you know, I'm trying to make everything fast, guys. I It was the 4th of July weekend. I was super busy, like I said, and I'm just trying to prep everything. I'm going to make a salsa for a morisqueta that I'm going to be making, which is a traditional Michoacan dish. Um, and now I'm cutting up some potatoes for that chicken salad that I'm going to be making for my husband. I just cube it. And then you also cube some carrots. And I'm also going to be steaming some broccoli, so I'm washing that. That's going to go with some fajitas that I'm going to be making. So here I have the cooked um, carrots and potatoes. And I'm just showing you it needs to be like kind of firm but not raw. So you don't want them to get too mushy. You just blanch them in the water. That's, that's all you're doing. Then you let them cool down and then you put them in the fridge. And now I'm cutting up some bell peppers because I'm also going to be making fajitas. I cut up what I had, yellow and red. I had yellow and red fajitas, so I'm cutting that up. I'm cutting up the onion that's also going to go with the fajitas. Like I said, all this is just prep. I'm putting everything in the fridge and the next day I will continue. And then for the 4th of July, we were going to make spring rolls. So we were going to make chicken spring rolls. So I was the one that was going to take the chicken. So I'm just marinating this chicken on both sides and this is gonna go um, to our little get together so now this is gonna be for the morisqueta all it is is you put in regular long grain rice in some water you salt it and you steam it it's just steamed rice that's all it is um, and I also had to take for the 4th of July some wings all I'm doing is putting season all in there and then I will be frying them so I just put a little bit of season all just so it seasons and I'll be frying them now I also had to take one of the dips for the spring rolls. All you do is you squeeze in an orange into a little blender um, and then you put about two tablespoons of peanut butter and then a little bit of this rice vinegar. What we're making is peanut sauce for the rolls. You put a little bit of the rice vinegar and then you add a little bit of these liquid aminos. If you don't have that, you can just use regular soy sauce. Um, just don't add too much because it is really salty. And then you add some honey or agave, whatever you have. Even you can even add like Splenda sugar, whatever it is that you have. And then you just taste it as you go. See, this is what it looks like. And then you mince some ginger in there. It is divine, you guys. It is so good with like... Oh, and then we I also put a little bit of sesame oil. Just like a dash. But if you want it thicker, just add more peanut butter and you'll be good. So here's my chicken. It came out of the Instant Pot and then I just smash it up with my... I don't know what I'm using. That thing. I don't know what it's called. And it's shredded. 
and it's ready. I put it in a little container and it's ready for the next day for me to assemble it. And for the get together, I also had to take some fruit. So we are just cutting up some watermelon. So yummy. I know I'm all over the place. I'm just sharing with you guys with you guys what I do on a typical weekend right now. And then I also put some mangoes in there and I scored them, making look all pretty. Uh, is my shirt clean? Yes, it is. Thank God. Well, you just score them. Make them look pretty. Uh, we just put like some tahini on the side and then everybody just enjoyed it. It was really, I mean, it was really good. Okay, now I'm making the salsa for the morisqueta. All you Michoacanas out there, I'm just making simple morisqueta. Putting some ajo in there. There's a million ways to make it. And then I added some water. You want it to be brothy. And then you put some salt in there and then you just mix it. And again, I'm using this the next day for that dish. All it is is just rice, beans, some sort of meat with sauce or cheese with sauce. It's just a very typical dish that my husband like likes to have. Ooh, now we're making the peanut butter protein balls. I've shared them before. I'm doing double the recipe, so I'm going to read it out to you again. One cup of oatmeal, two third cup of coconut flakes, half a cup of peanut butter, half a cup of flaxseed, half a cup of chocolate chips, one third cup of agave, one tablespoon of chia seeds, optional, I don't add them, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then you just mix it all up. But I'm doubling the recipe, so um, yeah, I'm adding a whole lot more than what the recipe calls for, but these are so good. They have become a staple. This recipe is from the Watts on here on YouTube. That's where I got it from, and she's amazing for sharing that with us. Us, like my family. <laughs> oh, I'm sleepy, guys. It is so late at night right now. I'm just, I'm just over it. Oh, and then when you form the little balls, I suggest you add water to your hands every time it starts getting a little too sticky, and it really helps out. And then you just put it, pop it in the fridge, let them cool down, and and then they're ready. I actually had one before filming, or before making this video. It was really cool. <laughs> It's like 10 o'clock. And I had like, I don't know, 31, 33 some odd number. Okay, here I'm making the sauce for the wings. I'm going to be making barbecue and buffalo sauce ones. So I have buffalo sauce in that pan. I am adding half a stick of butter. And I, I use Frank's Red Hot Sauce, just in case you were wondering. And then on the other thing, I have the chicken. I'm already putting the wings in there. So now, ta-da, the wings are done. They're done frying. So I'm putting some of the sauce on there. That's... There's really no, no science to this, guys. You fry them up, you throw them in there, and you're done. And then I'm going to be making some of the barbecue ones, too. So what I do for that one is I warm up the barbecue first. Um, I put it on a, on a bowl, like how you're seeing right now. Um, I really, I'm not picky with barbecue. I just use whatever's on sale, whatever they have. Put it in the, on the plate, and then I microwave it so it's warm. That way, when I pull out the, the wings, you know, they're both warm. And um, voila. So they're ready. They're ready for me to take them to my get together. They were a hit. They were almost gone. There was just like a little bit left. And now it's the next day. So now we're gonna season our meats. One side is gonna be the fajita meat. And then the other side is gonna be the meat that I will be using for the morisqueta dish. So the side with the morisqueta dish, I'm just putting salt. And then the side with the fajita, I'm just using taco seasoning. It was so good. You just throw some taco seasoning in there and boom, bam, you're done. I was just taking the, I'm still wearing my 4th of July shirt. How embarrassing. <laughs> so you oil all your pants. I'm gonna be putting beans in the one that's on the, the one that's farther from the camera. So you fry up some beans and you want them to be pretty runny. I had some frozen beans. Yay! That's why I love freezing. I just took them out of the freezer the day before and then look, we have beans. Fry them up and on this side what I'm doing right now, I'm going to be doing the fajitas. And then on the front, I'm going to be doing the morisqueta. So you will see all the add-ins. I'm just, I'm all over the place guys. I was cooking a lot of different things these days for different reasons. I added onion to the morisqueta side. All it is is chili with meat 
and rice and beans. That's that's what morisqueta is. And then, you know, I just make sure that they're cooking very well. I like to cover my meat. You do you if you don't want to. I'm adding the salsa that I made the day before to the meat, to the morisqueta meat. And like I said, I'm just making simple, simple, simple morisqueta. And then on the other side, the fajita side, I'm adding those onions and bell peppers that I cut the day before. And I'm adding a little bit more of that taco seasoning just to give the bell pepper and onion a little bit more flavor. And that's all there's to it. You just mix it up. And now I'm making the uh, tostadas, the chicken tostadas. So you just add your cooked uh, potato and carrots. You add your shredded chicken. You add a can of corn. And then you add some, we're going to be adding some mayonnaise. We're going to be adding some pepper, some salt, and this is a chipotle right here. I just add it straight into the bowl. So fancy. And then I just cut it up. I ended up adding two. And then, ugh, why bring out, oh, and then I add a little bit of lemon too. Why bring out a cutting board when I can just cut it with my fingers? I'm just trying to hurry. At this point, I am so tired. And then you add salt, and you add pepper, and then you add mayonnaise, and you're done. At this point, guys, I am so tired like it was a fourth of july the day before hardly any sleep uh it was just i just wanted to be done so here we are we're assembling our dishes here's the chicken salad that i just made and this i made three of them for my husband and now i'm making some yogurt parfaits or parfait whatever i'm using honey greek yogurt this stuff is so good so good um, and then I add strawberries and blueberries to each of the little Tupperwares. These are going to my husband or with my husband. Whatever, you guys get the point. So blueberries, yeah, blueberries and strawberries. And then we will be adding some granola. That simple, guys. That simple. Look at my, look at my little son. Oh my gosh. He's just, oh boy. He was being, he was being, um, he was being a little boy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. He was being um, a typical toddler. There you go. And I just covered them up and they're ready to go. Now we're gonna assemble. Here's the fajitas. I was only able to make two. I wanted to make three, but I kept looking at it and I was like, it's just not enough to make three. So I just made two for him. I put the fajita mixture in there. I had some leftover rice from like, I don't know if it was like from the day before. I, I can't remember, but it was brown rice. I put it in there and then here's my steamed uh, cauliflower and then now I'm assembling the morisqueta and then I was gonna do it with the freaking what do you call it a spoon and then I was like nope <laughs> so much easier to just dump it on there come on we're trying to hurry here we're trying to get out of here trying to not trying to be here all day I just dump it all in there and yes I do reuse my bags and here's the beans they they're supposed to be a little more runny than this but you know what I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done so there goes all the beans and I was able to make three thankfully because oh my husband said he doesn't want fruit anymore he just wants food so now I have to make more like food and here goes that lovely is your guys' mouth watering yet is it watering yet because <laughs> mine is <laughs> so then I just, I just make sure that I even out the meat between all three dishes and then I pour on some of that sauce and this is what morisqueta is don't come after me if you're from Michoacan and you're like, that's not marisqueta. I know how to make marisqueta. I just, I was trying to find the fastest way, guys. And this is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is that morning. This is our breakfast, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. It's just oatmeal with almond milk, and we like to have ours with fresh fruit. So I put, for all of us, we all like um, blueberries and strawberries. All, I have two kids, so all of us like blueberries and strawberries. We all like banana that's what I'm doing right now I'm putting adding a banana we all like banana my husband is the only one that likes coconut in his oatmeal so I'm adding coconut to his um so my video is gonna end soon but I I, I really hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> and then I added uh I chocolate chips to mine and my kids my husband doesn't like chocolate chips and then the butter oh this butter is so good it's from Trader Joe's mm, so good and then maple syrup to all of them and the butter was only my husband and myself. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.